So I came across this really unique vintage lens online and it had some really crazy square bokeh. It was kind of rectangular, it looked kind of pixelated and it got me interested in this lens. So what I did was I went to check the prices on it and it was, they were extremely high and I didn't feel like I would ever pay that much money just for that effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, old Pentax SMC 28mm 2.8 and modify it to have that kind of square bokeh. Now this is actually a really old lens. It has a, it's got some scratch coating. The aperture is kind of stiff, but it still kind of works. So. I have no problem messing around with this lens, kind of experimenting. Uh, this is a SMC Pentax A, 28mm 2.8. And uh, yeah, we're gonna open this up. Now, I know that you can actually uh, produce the square bokeh and triangle bokeh and such effects by putting like a kind of cutout filter in front of the lens. But I just think that's kind of gimmicky, even though my what I'm doing is probably gimmicky too, but I just want to do it because I can. So anyways, I got this kind of rubber ring. You can buy some on Amazon. They're kind of like lens tools, really easy to find. Uh, they ship from Japan, I think. But anyways, we have to take this uh, top plastic off. In other lenses, they usually have a metal one. This one is plastic. Uh, this lens is, uh, yeah, we don't have to mess with the back. We just have to put the stopper here. And uh, these things really come in handy. But it should be all right. There we go. So that's a plastic cover. I'm gonna clean that off later. Let's uh, take off these screws. It's important to use the right tool for the job. You don't want to wash these out through the blow. Now uh, this should come right off. Uh, we'll also give that a cleaning later. And you can unscrew the front portion, exposing the aperture system. Sometimes, uh, if there's some oil kind of or if it's like stored in the heat the lens um, oils will start to like evaporate and condense on the lens so I'm just gonna give it a quick clean uh, we're gonna use some ethanol we're gonna start with this rear it has kind of the oils I don't know if you can see very well Should come right off. So you tend to get like a little thin film kind of slimy thing. Don't be afraid to chuck them, I mean they're like a thousand for a dollar or something, so it's fine. The back looks alright. The oils are gone, but actually it's kind of dirty in here, so might as well just I don't you can see very well, but it's quite dirty. Now, all we have to do is uh, place our filter. I made mine very thin out of aluminum. In hindsight, this is probably not the best idea. I should have done like black hardboard paper because this is gonna cause reflections everywhere. But I was thinking that I wanted it to be really thin. This is just uh, for fun. And like I said, I have more than one copy of this lens. So it should be okay. Not a hundred percent square shape now, but all well, these things happen. 
this is one of the reasons why I tell people vintage lenses are fun because you can experiment and play around with them and stuff. After all, this lens is not worth that much anymore. And like I said, I have more than one, and this one's my fading copy. So, mostly square, not exactly. It's screwed up just a little bit, but um, I don't mind to be honest. So, it happens, you know. Almost 100% square aperture. Almost. We're going to give this a quick clean before we put it over there. Final step. And we are ready to take some test images. 